sitting at Lake of the Woods, Ontario, we slipped away to a uh, waterfront cottage uh, friends of ours let us use here with the family. Enjoying this beautiful day. The water is nice, the fish are biting. I'm away for a week. It's nice to get away from the farm for a little bit. My crew is stacking fifths onto my uh, onto all my hives. So uh, I'm able to sit here and relax for a little bit until I get back and get busy again. So I was asked a question today uh, with, with my email about uh, how I deal with a wax moth. And you have to realize, to answer that, you have to realize that my answer go is very spe specific to the area I keep my bees. Well, up in the Great White North, we have winter, a really hard, cold winter, and it uh, kills every stage of the wax moth. So our equipment stored through the winter is pretty much you know, sanitized of all wax moth infestation. Spring comes around, going into summer, the wax moth will fly back up from the south and uh, reinfest our equipment. Generally, I find if I keep my equipment uh, with bees in it, at least once through that year, like through the year, all my honey supers are cycled through the hive. Um, I try not to leave any brood boxes or brood comb laying around in the corners of the shop. I try to cycle a lot all through my hives to at least at least once just to be able to get the, the bees, the strong bees, to purge the wax moth out of it. Basically, I don't have too much trouble with wax moth, just as long as I'm, I'm very deliberate on making sure the equipment gets used at least once a year, cycle everything through at least once a year. Um, further south, you might have to consider using other options like storage containers and using some kind of a chemical treatment to purge the container. Uh, I know guys that, or I don't know guys, but I've heard of guys um, gassing the these containers with carbon dioxide. Um, also, what I've done one year, I had a whole bunch of brood comb left over because uh, I was switching from double hive management to single hive, and I had all those double, that's the all those seconds that I wasn't using because of the surplus equipment at that time. And so I had about a thousand brood boxes, which I couldn't cycle through my hives. And what I did is I, my reefer, I have a reefer for storage and I simply just froze out the reefer once every month. And that kept the wax moth completely at bay. Um, so little things like that. So just a few thoughts on that question. I thought I'd pass along to you. 